Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about um, a ransom receivers. Could be amplifiers, I suppose. It could be any model, really. Could, uh, any make, should I say. Could be Pioneer, Sansu, any make, really, where you think maybe the uh, power supply or resistor on in circuit's getting a bit too hot. I mean, this could be any resistor, really, anywhere in the circuit you may be concerned about. But it um, could be concentrating like some of the power supplies of, of both of these units. Uh, I'm not going to touch one of them. I'll have a little tinker around with this uh, Marantz 1530. Um, this is a Marantz 215, similar to the uh, 1515, and um, I think a lot of these Marantzes haven't all, all got the same exact power supply, but got similar kind of power supplies, you know, ranging maybe the 2230, 2270, 4270, all them kind of thing, you know, it's quite a lot of them that's got power supplies that the resistor or transistor is getting quite warm, that may be a concern to some people, but um, they're still operating within their... Uh, you know, they're not in temperature kind of range. Uh, admittedly, the resistors not fall off a max temperature in this particular case on this receiver here. Um, still within its boundary, so to speak. So nothing, you know, to really get too worried about. But um, you may want to take that resistor out and swap it with an higher value one, thus bringing the temperature down. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, lessening your concerns about having the unit on long or worrying about it getting too hot, that kind of thing. Um, okay, first of all, um, I bought this receiver uh, second hand uh, on eBay quite a while ago now and uh, I had it on for a little while you kind of get that kind of smell coming from these old, some of these, not all of them, but some of these old receivers you kind of get like an old kind of smell that may be, may be associated with an old TV, that kind of smell I suppose, you know, uh, you reminisce back to the 70s, that kind of thing. But um, it was getting to a stage after a little bit longer that, that, you know, that kind of smell coming through that it was getting to a a more of an horrible smell coming through so um, I thought we'd investigate because sometimes you could maybe associate this with the bulbs at the front because uh, after you've had these units on quite a while you know these filament type bulbs can get quite warm and uh, eat up the front of the, uh, the the fascia so to speak you may think it's that or some other bits and pieces or whatever anyway I thought we'd investigate so I took the top off and the first thing I noticed uh, looking at the top as I, as I took it off to put it down I noticed like this kind of marking the, on the top of it here as you can see in this photograph here and that's like a scorch mark. So I thought, well, it must be getting fairly hot to leave a, a scorch mark in it. So uh, I've done a little bit of further investigation, though, just feeling around inside and around. I, I kind of put my finger on the heat sink of the transistor uh, in the power supply there. And um, it was quite warm, to be honest. You know, I kept my finger on it for about 10 seconds, and that was it. I, I lifted it off. And I was going to put my finger on the resistor next to it. Um, and that, just getting near it, I could feel the heat coming from it. So I thought I'd get my heat gun out. And uh, just take a couple of temperatures. Um, well, I haven't got a picture to show you the uh, heat sink. Unfortunately, I deleted that, and I've changed it a little bit since. As you'll see as the video progresses. Um, but um, anyway, here's a quick clip of the uh, me taking the temperature of the resistor. And as you can see, that it reaches 127 degrees Celsius. And um, I thought I looked these up. This is um, a metal oxide kind of uh, type resistor. Uh, and these go up to about 150 Celsius, so um, yeah, still within its uh, operating temperature range, so to speak. But uh, maybe a little concern, you may think this is getting too hot, you know, maybe something shorting out in the circuit, something like causing a problem here, you know, why should it get that hot? So if we stick up the circuit here on the screen now, um, as you can see there, it's, uh, on the top half of the uh, of the diagram, should we say, of the picture, should we say, you can see the orange arrows there pointing to Q805, that's the transistor that's getting quite warm on the heat sink. And next to it is the resistor uh, 801, 150 ohms at 5 watts, it says in the circuit diagram. Uh, so what I did there is just measure, there's, there's quite a few voltages here to, uh, to measure, uh, two, so to speak. Um, you've got 50 volts coming uh, on one side of the transistor there, and uh, on the other side, uh, 32 volts. Uh, if you've got the left and right, left at 50 volts, as you see in the diagram, 32 on the right-hand side. Uh, at the base of it there is 32 point six uh, volts to, to be measured uh, the base of the other transistor there 806 is 12.6 uh, volts to be measured and 16 volts at uh, tag uh, j818 so all them read perfect so um, i knew that you know i you know that, that should pretty much cover that uh, you know not too much to worry about there um so i thought well let's, let's, let's investigate a little bit further Went on a few forums and then quite a few people were saying that this resistor and this particular amplifier, that this particular receiver, shall I say, is getting you know really hot. Uh, a few people suggested um, swapping them out for a, a five watt one, even though it says five watts in the circuit diagram there. 
um, oh sorry I meant to say also, so bring that picture back up down the bottom there is where they are on the actual circuit board as you can see the transistor there and the resistor that's where they're both located on that particular circuit board okay um, yeah so um, what I thought um, like I said I went on a few forums and they said you know maybe swapping that resistor out for an higher value one it says 5 watts there but so uh, when I actually bring up the parts list here if we bring up the parts list here um, as you can see that resistor on the parts list is actually 3 watts so um, one of them has got to be wrong it's either a 3 or 5 but when, when you look at in circuit on the board it's a 3 watt resistor so I'll take it that circuit diagram at the top is actually wrong and that should read 3 watts and not 5 watts anyway I thought I'd get myself uh, a couple of resistors and uh, bring these over just for a second um, yeah get a couple of resistors and um, swap it out so I, I ordered so to be honest if you ordered um, a 5 watt um, metal oxide resistor two watts more uh, I thought this would do the trick to be honest with you I thought well two watts is quite a bit you know considering three it's nearly, nearly double but also I got myself a 10 watt ceramic resistor as well just in case I thought I'm having me so I'll do a few swaps is about and have a little bit of a muck around yeah okay let's, let's, let's bring up a picture of actually what it looks like inside so as you can see on this picture here I've labelled up uh, and you can see it's really crammed in there on this part of the power supply so I've got crammed in that little area we've got 220 uh, microfarad capacitor there uh, the yellow arrow pointing to it and as you can see that's pressing right up and it was pressing right up against that transistor uh, screw there to the slightly to the side of it but pressing up against it was touching the screw basically and I thought well that transistor is giving off quite a bit of heat um, and it's going to uh, you know that capacitor is going to kind of draw that heat in so to speak and that's going to get a bit on the warm side as well and uh, you know over a period of time I suppose could dry it out I don't know but um, I thought I could maybe um, replace that uh, capacitor as I had a 22 microfarad uh, capacitor, 50 volts laying about anyway. So I could take that out because today's uh, capacitors are a lot smaller. So um, yeah, you'll see I'll whip that, I will whip that out and you'll see a picture later on of uh, that actually taken out. And I thought for good measure I might as well take that other little capacitor just below it out as well. Um, there's the 150 ohm resistor there, 3 watts uh, there, um, arrowed in orange. Um, and the transistor like some of the heat sinks so they're all pretty close by to each other so I thought if I could reduce the heat in that circuit uh, somewhere along the line you know what I mean so I've, I've, I've kind of given a little bit more airflow not a lot it's only got a gushing wind coming about but I've, you know, I've kind of got that capacitor out of the way by putting a smaller one in there that would be great um, take that resistor out like I say I bought myself a 5 watt one and a 10 watt one I thought we'll, we'll swap that about hopefully that will bring the temperature of that down and I may even tinker around with that heat sink I was, I, was, I was talking about to be honest with you taking the heat sink completely out putting another kind of heat sink in there but um, it's got a couple of screw holes there one where it's bolted to the chassis and another one where the transistor going in I've got no real drill bits or anything to do with that uh, and that's still within well within its uh, operating temperature like I say that that transistor can go up to about 150 degrees Celsius and this was only measuring about 44 46 so you know a third of it's kind of like what it could go up to so to speak um, but over a period of time having the amplifier on quite a long time I should imagine that temperature will start creeping up anyway but I thought maybe I could just do a slight adjustment on that heat sink rather than taking it out just to maybe you know dis dissipate the heat a little bit more than what it is doing at the moment okay uh, so yeah the first thing I've done uh, is uh, I'll swap this uh, resistor here this 150 ohm uh, resistor 3 watt for a 5 watt one okay yeah sorry I'm going to be cutting and editing this video as we go along so to speak because there's a lot to rattle off in one go um, anyway let's bring up a picture of that 5 watt resistor actually uh, replaced on the board and there you can see it there with the orange uh, square around it um, just a couple of things to note here I've took out the uh, two capacitors like I said I did and replaced them with two new ones uh, giving up a little bit more room there a little bit more airflow and uh, more importantly maybe that uh, bottom capacitor not actually touching the screw of the transistor on the heat sink now and also just a little uh, curiosity as well I stuck like a, a cut of washers on top of the heat sink there with a bolt going through it just to uh, maybe dissipate the heat just a little bit more from the heat sink and I thought well, I'll just give that a go and see if that made much difference and to be honest with you it hardly made any difference at all but anyway I just think I thought I'd tinker around with so let's just uh, bring up a reading now. Uh, don't forget the first 3 watt resistor read 127 degrees and uh, here's a little picture here of the uh, 5 watt resistor and as you can see this now measures 117 degrees Celsius so um, you know that, that brings it down 10 degrees and um, you know, brings it well within 9 that 150 degrees, 155 degrees operating temperature so th this resistor would be fine you know what I mean this would bring it down another 10 degrees which is uh, quite a bit really but um, 
like I say, I bought a 10 watt resistor, ceramic resistor as well, and I thought, uh, well, let's take this one out and uh, let's stick the 10 watt one in. Now, these 10 watt resistors are quite big now, to be honest with you, you know, they're, they're getting like a ginormous compared to, uh, especially compared with the 3 watt resistor is in there, and uh, the 5 watt one is just a little bit bigger than the 3 watt, but uh, the actual 10 watt sign of like, uh, sign of ups the scale quite a bit to be honest with you, we'll just bring them both up on the screen. Uh, that there is the uh, 5 watt resistor, hopefully you can see that okay. But when you compare it with the 10 watt resistor, as you can see that 10 watt resistor is uh, quite enormous compared, so uh, plenty of room there still to get it standing up, and I stood it upright. So we just show a, a picture now, what, what I've been doing over a period of a little bit of time, uh, a little bit more of a muck around here. Uh, like I say, that heat sink didn't really do a lot to be honest with you, that didn't bolt through it and uh, two washers at the top so I found a couple of bits of aluminium kind of like uh, metal brackets that you would use for maybe your garden fence or something like that or just a bunch of two things together with so to speak or whatever or connect two things two bits of wood together or two anything together I suppose it's like a little bracket and it's got three holes in it it's got uh, one each end and uh, one kind of halfway down in the middle uh, so I've got that little bracket uh, a couple more washers and that and uh, couple more bolts you're saying use them washers again and bolted it to that heat sink just a matter of curiosity again I thought see if that brings the temperature down anymore uh, don't forget this is running about I think 44 46 degrees somewhere around there with uh, no heat sink on it at all no 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 extra heat sink uh, um, attached to it and there's the resistor as you can see there that's quite big and uh, like, it still fits in there we've still got some room in there like uh, that's, that's the way I feel it not an upright to be honest with you uh, just a slight angle on it that's all but it's in there firm it's, it's not going to wobble about anywhere it's not going anywhere so there's nothing to worry about there uh, may not look the prettiest things in the world I must admit but um, you know it's going to do its job now like we've gone up from 3 watts uh, all the way up to 10 watts now so um, what I'm going to do now is actually put, um, show you a video this, this is how I've left it uh, I want to show you a video uh, of uh, this uh, receiver as shown in that last picture with the modifications done to it against this receiver here that's uh, got a similar power supply um, admittedly it's got a smaller heat sink as you'll see as we, as we go through it uh, actually, I'll just bring a quick picture up here. This is the power supply in this uh, 215. It's, it's kind of based around the same kind of thing there, as you can see. Uh, just got like a, a smaller uh, heat sink there on the uh, transistor because it doesn't get so hot, but uh, you know, the, the resistor gets quite hot again still. Uh, like I say, it's very, very similar kind of uh, configuration here. Uh, yeah, so let's bring that video up now. I'll show you the video and you'll see uh, me taking a reading of this uh, 1530 with my adjustments and we're going to show you, um, you know, up against this uh, MR215 which is basically a 1515 receiver. So here's the video. Okay, so there's the video there of uh, showing you them side by side, the two different readings on the both receivers. So if we just go back to the 130, the one I've ordered, as you can see with that heat sink and uh, that kind of bodge thing I stuck on top of it, so to speak. Now you can still leave it on there, I mean it's clamped, it's not going to fall off, it's as tight as you like. Uh, that's dropped from uh, 44, 46 what it was to about 38 now. So I brought that down a bit, but I'll probably take it off because, you know, it's like I say, it's still well within its uh, temperature range, nothing to worry about there really. And uh, with me now, taking that resistor that resistor out that 3 watt 150 ohm resistor which was about 127 degrees and putting that 10 watt one in it's brought it down to 86 so obviously a lot it's going to be a, quite a bit cooler inside that chassis now so um you know that heat you know that heat coming off that resistor would kind of like it'd be encased in inside the receiver so it would kind of like affect the heat on the heat sink a little bit like having something really hot next to it um, so with, with that lesser heat next to it as well that would help that heat sink out a little bit, just a tad of what I feel, but it still would help it out, it, it wouldn't make it worse than what it was before. So I'll probably take that clamping thing off and just leave the uh, transistor as it is. By the way, then transistors, you can still get older with that, if, at, you know, any time when, which I very much doubt. Uh, you can get them, but just be careful when you go on eBay and places like people selling 500 of them and all that from uh, China and places like that, that uh, they may not be the same spec. Um, and I've read a few reviews on them, here and there and people saying you know they're not exactly the same spec and they can kind of conk out a lot easier than the 
than the original one, so to speak. Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, if we, uh, on the 215, as you can see, uh, over the 215, the resistor hit 136 there on that. Um, so, yeah, maybe at some point I'll take that resistor out, and uh, even if I stuck a 5 watt one in there, like, it would bring it down probably 10 degrees again, something like that, or I could stick a 10 watt one there. Now, it's still operating within its uh, allotted temperature, so to speak. Um, and the heat sink was about the same when it was about 44, 46, something like that, that heat sink was reaching. Um, so I should imagine, you know, when Marantz built these, they knew how hot they were going to get, and uh, they was in the guidelines, so they just let you know there was no need to up the resistance, uh, the um, wattage uh, value on the resistance, on the resistor, I should say. They just left it as it was, you know, it was well within spec kind of thing, so, um, you know, and, and, and these are still, you know, obviously I bought this second hand, this second hand, people have had it on, been had it blaring out and so forth and whatever, and they're still both going strong. But let I me mean, just take that, like I say, that smell away. Um, not getting the smell so much on this one, I must admit, than I did on this one here. Uh, this was quite, you know, got, like I say, to an horrible kind of smell. And I took the case off of here, and it, even though this is a wooden case compared with a metal one, this one, there was no scorch marks on this case at all. So um, I know the uh, heat sink was a little bit lower down than maybe this one is a bit slightly higher heat sink, maybe that had anything to do with it, I don't know. But um, it was more, like I say, more prominent on this bottom one, hence um, I've done the changes and also start a video up. So hopefully, you know, some people maybe got this receiver or similar receivers worried about how hot these things are getting. Maybe not to worry too much, you know what I mean? That uh, they're all within there, uh, you know, get a gun or something or some kind of way of measuring the temperature and seeing if they're laying within that uh, allotted temperature range, like I say about, you know, basically both of them under 50 degrees, I would have said under 50 degrees Celsius. If it's below that, you're okay. If you want to just change one item, the resistor is the easiest one to change. You know, just get yourself a 5 or 10 watt resistor and stick it in the circuit and that's going to bring the temperature down 10 degrees or whatever the other one was. That's brought it down, what was that, 80? It's brought it down about 50 degrees, that uh, 10 watt resistor. So maybe something to uh, think about. Okay, I hope I didn't bore you too much with all that. It was quite a bit to go through and quite a bit of editing and cutting. But um, I will come back and uh, do it. I'm going to listen to these for another day or so. I'll just get a few more speakers while up to them. But I will come back with a review on the sound differences between both these Marantzma receivers. So until then, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.